Traffic has to be one of the most frustrating parts of the human experience. There is more than enough road space for everyone to go where they need to go. And yet, somehow, we all have to spend hours of our lives every week crawling at 5 to 10 miles per hour, burning gas and doing whatever it takes to stay awake and or not hate every person that's holding us back from reaching our destination. Traffic is a bizarre phenomenon as you don't even need an actual accident or construction to cause it. You just need a lot of people going to the same place at the same time. Even worse, a near accident can cause traffic due to a accordion effect from the cars hitting the brakes behind the near accident. Of course, physics tells us that flow is limited by certain factors, but there's no equation that accounts for a grandma that can't drive too fast or that person that simply can't put their phone down in the car. But let's leave the bad drivers out of it for now, as hard as that may be. The truth is that traffic is technically preventable, but the level of traffic control that it would take to do that given humans have free will is impractical. You would pretty much have to remove free will in order to get rid of traffic. Traffic is partially a result of what people choose to do. So yes, you have one piece of justification to be mad at people in traffic, but it immediately gets canceled out by the fact that you yourself are on the road. So now we're back to square one. Well, I have to drive. I live too far from work, you might say. Or I have to carry things that I can't take on a bus or a train. That's fine. You don't have to leave your car at home. But here's a question. How many ways are there to get to your destination? Yeah, you're going to the mall, but there are six different entrances to the mall parking lot, three of which have little to no traffic, but you're sitting in a line of 10 cars waiting to turn, knowing you're about to waste five minutes because the arrow barely lets through five cars at a time. Why? Well, it's what you always do, and it's what most other people do too. Why do you do what other people do? Many of you probably haven't thought of that question, but it's fine. You don't have to. It all boils down to social learning. Almost all of what we do is learned from our environment. That makes sense because we're born knowing nothing and have only survival instincts. The thing is, we learn consciously, subconsciously, and unconsciously. Obviously, school and active skills are things we learn consciously, but there's a lot of subconscious and unconscious learning that we don't know about or realize until we're made aware of it. You ever realize that thing you picked up from your parents or your friends without even trying to? Maybe it's a phrase or a household habit, but you do it without thinking. Driving has a lot more subconscious and unconscious behavior than most people probably realize. People will sit in lines of traffic with open lanes next to them because they've been taught or learned that you shouldn't switch lanes too often. People will drive the speed of the person in front of them and won't notice what they're doing until they're suddenly passed by six cars flying by them. There's a lot that people just do on the road without realizing it. Because of that, we get stuck in traffic a lot more than we probably should. The big picture summary is that so many of us trying to go the same direction, doing the same thing, is holding all of us back. Some of you have probably realized where this is going by now. Something interesting is happening in society today where even though there is more push than ever to make your own path, people are crowding themselves into certain lanes to make it to the top. Social media influence, cryptocurrency, NFTs, streaming, people are jumping on anything that seems to promise success. The problem is that in this world, there's only so much success to go around. We can't all be TikTok famous. The truth is, you don't need to follow someone else's path. Your uniqueness means that there's a unique path that you can and probably should take, even if you're going to the same destination. You don't need a YouTube guru to tell you how to be successful. You just need to capitalize on the skills and situation that you have in front of you. Even if you are taking the same path as someone else, you don't have to take that same path the same way that other people take it. But why add yourself to the traffic? You've seen people turning off on side roads during rush hour and wonder, where are they going? Sometimes we judge them for doing too much and say, that's fine for them, but I'll stay where I am. 
well, why commit yourself to traffic? They're going to find a better path while you're just sitting in traffic watching time tick away. There's nothing wrong with taking a back road on your journey or using alternative routes. There's nothing wrong with changing lanes if it allows you to get closer to where you want to go. You don't have to struggle through things that other people struggle through. You don't have to accept traffic. You may not be able to avoid it, but you don't have to suffer in it. Do things a bit differently. Take a different path. You might find that you had a different final destination the whole time.